It's your boy Joey Cassano. I got my boy Mike Gabardi. Man, what a night it's been. People, you just do not understand. My first tip of the day, it's not the free pick winner. It's going to go ahead and tell you, don't go to the dog track after you've had a bad day with the sports book. Don't do it. I've had a horrible ending to 2009. I'm going to go ahead and let you know. I'm ready to start back off on January 1st, 2010. I've been, I'm just not even going to talk about the dog track. My boy Gabardi, I told him to stay away from the blackjack. At the same time, he's barking out at me, stay away from those damn, those dogs. Did but they it, listen to each other? No. It's just the way it is. I'm sure you know how it feels. Y'all had a losing day. We just really had a losing day. Yeah. But you know what? This is how it is. In this business, it's going to be like that. You're not going to win every day. You know, there's just one thing, me and Gabardi, we study trends, statistics, but there's one thing you just can't factor into these sports. That's human, human error. error. Just like when the backup quarterback for Minnesota fumbles the ball inside the red zone and all they need is a field goal to win. Anyways, don't get me started. Points. Oh, what a joke. Okay. Joke. Anyways, we got some locks for tomorrow. We plan on bouncing back. Like we always do, or we wouldn't be doing this every day. Anyways, we're going to roll you into a free pick winner. I don't even want to go over yesterday's picks. I'm disgusted. Disgusted. Horrible. That's it. What it's a, an understatement. Yeah, what a joke. Anyways, we got the Capital One Bowl. We got LSU versus Penn State. I've been watching these teams all year. My boy Gabardi's been watching them as well. LSU, they're missing their first two running backs. They're number 11th in SEC offense this Which year. Which is horrible in any conference, much less the SEC. Nah, what a joke LSU is. They got Jefferson. He's just a joke. <clears throat> and I'm going to tell you something about Penn State's defense. They've only allowed 15 touchdowns this season. They are tied with Florida in that statistic. That's against a very debacled, diminished LSU offense. They play their sophomore quarterback this year so that they didn't have the horrendous last year that they had with their boy Lee, who threw seven, count them, seven, six picks, pick six, you know. They're missing Williams and, what's that other one? Scott. Scott from, uh, that's their, their two starting running backs. Out. Out. Done. Out. I'm going to tell you something about Clark, Penn State's quarterback. He just doesn't prove to play well against top 25 defenses. Look at him against Iowa. Look at him against Ohio State. He just don't do good. Now, LSU does have a defense. They held Florida to nine points, one of the best offenses in the nation. It screams one thing, play the under. And we're going to get back on, I'm telling you, we're going to bounce back. This is what we do. There's always another day. I plan on jumping up hard. This is Joey Cassano. Got my boy Mike Gabardi, the winningwagers.com.